The foods we eat are more than just produce. They are the end of the line in a complex and vital process that ensures what we buy retains the appropriate nutritional value. Product integrity needs to be consistent too. When we consume something, its quality is a reflection on the company producing it. That's why food labs are vital in this process. Now we've dived into the essence of food testing laboratories when we spoke with Gideon Ashworth and Sam Weeks of Bart Ingredients. They gave us a complete overview into the functions and practices of their labs. Be sure to see that video for the full interview. But what I'd like to do is share three trends affecting the food labs of our world. Number one, testing levels are going to get a bump. Now in 2021, producers intentionally reduced testing and production all across the board. This was to balance the employee loss as a result of the pandemic. Industries everywhere, in fact, were making cutbacks. 2022, now that shows a different story. Rising employment in manufacturing showed a major boost in testing in industries across the world. The US alone saw a rise of 113,000 employees for the third quarter of 2021. That is still below pre-pandemic levels, but the recovery is here and that's a great thing. We're on the right track. Number two, labs are about to automate into a better future. We're returning to work, but those jobs might change quite a bit when we get back. Demand for automation in 22 is climbing thanks to its tried and tested ability to increase productivity. Automation is something that we have covered in the past, but to get a full overview on automatization and its incredible potential, make sure to see our special episode covering that topic. But let's break it down and let's recap why this is so good in the first place. First, it meets the demand for customers. Secondly, it broadens the abilities of lab workers, allowing them to multitask. Thirdly, it scales your operations unlike ever before. And that might be without a single person at the controls. What's more is ready to use solutions have cut down activation and preparation times for testing. Functions are just as remarkable. Rather than spend time at Petri dishes, lab workers have ready to use Petri films. Those follow digital protocols. Above all, there are less steps and there's a faster product to market. The third trend, third party labs have exploded in popularity. In food manufacturing, tests are increasingly relying on outside help. With labor shortages on site, it no longer makes business sense to look for full-time employees. Volume and productivity are available now to those who need it. These labs also have the capabilities to run confirmation tests on products that would be otherwise impossible to complete on site. So how's this possible? Some massive consolidation in recent years means that these facilities can move products around more efficiently than ever before. The fact is we're outsourcing our product testing and that's okay. So that's it for the food industry. Do you see any other trends? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to our newsletter for an even more in-depth analysis, especially in the food sector. So that's it for now, everyone. Take care and speak to you soon.